You guys, I am so emotional right now. Bendy and the Dark Revival finally got a new trailer. And it's coming out this month! <laughs> finally! But before we do anything, let us rewind and uncover what took the game so long as well as admire how long it took us to get here. For those of you who don't know, Bandit and the Ink Machine was a survival horror game released in 2017 and was developed by Dimitri and Michael Mood for Kindly Beats, who ironically are now called Joey Drew Studios. You play as Henry Steins, a veteran animator who returns to the studio at the request of his old business partner and friend, Joey Drew. The sequel game in question was announced in 2019 and was set for a June release. Then it was delayed for October of that same year, and after revealing that all five chapters would be made at once as opposed to its predecessor, the game was delayed yet again for next year. Well, at least that's the worst of their problems. <laughs> and then two years later, here we are, let's move on! The trailer starts off with our protagonist, Audrey, working animator for not Joey Drew Studios, but Archgate Studios. After working overtime, we see her run into Wilson, that's this handsome devil right here. However, if you brighten up the image and zoom in here, you'll see a banner for a movie. A documentary titled Joey Drew and the Demon. Yeah, you get it now. This is because in the comic collection, Bendy Crack Up Comics, there's a little snippet that says that Archgate Productions bought the Bendy rights from Joey Drew's estate, implying that Joey has died in between games. As far back as I can remember, I always knew I deserved to be dead. We then see Audrey in her inky hybrid form from the trailers, as well as Wilson over the loudspeaker saying, For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away. Even though that's not how I remember the last game ending. Hmm. We then see a bunch of new enemies, new locations, and potential side quests in the game. Thank you very much for your help. Even Allison is back in the game, as well as... Now I'm sure you either have a lot of questions or some sort of trauma over what this inky abomination did to you in the first game. And for those questions, I think the answer here is simple. If Archgate Studios really did buy the rights to the Bendy franchise and the Ink Machine, then that means not only did Archgate Studios know about Joey's experiments, but they want to continue and perfect them. And that is your long-awaited Dark Revival update. I know I'm a little late on this myself, but thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, or comment below.